Back to that breaking news, former President Donald Trump just landed in New Jersey after he was booked and released from a Georgia jail. His plane touching down at Newark Airport within the last 40 minutes and chopper two over the police caravan that followed Trump's vehicle as it made its way west to Bedminster, where the president lives. And Trump just returning from Atlanta, where he turned himself into a county jail on felony charges. And he's accused of trying to overturn the 2020 election results in Georgia. CBS 2's Dick Brennan has been following the case closely. He is here now with more for us. Dick. Marissa and Christine, Trump has already put his booking photo on social media in hopes of fundraising off of it. This is he goes into election season, facing charges now in four separate cases. It is the booking photo like we've never seen before. Donald Trump posing the way so many other defendants have done. Only this time, the shot is of a former president of the United States. He spoke briefly after being booked at the Fulton County Jail. What has taken place here is a travesty of justice. We did nothing wrong. I did nothing wrong. The booking sheet reads like any other, giving Trump's height and weight, six foot three, 215 pounds. That information said to be filled out ahead of time by Trump aides. The former president is charged in an attempt to overturn the 2020 election in Georgia. The 13 counts include racketeering, criminal conspiracy, and making false statements. The charges, in part, stemming from this call to Georgia Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger. I just want to find uh, 11,780 votes. Trump says there was nothing wrong with that call. I think that the former president here will try and say, well, I thought that I was entitled to those votes. I wasn't part of, you know, don't basically look over there to the bad guys. Don't look over here. Trump has hired a new attorney, Stephen Sadow, to defend him and who in terms of strategy is said to be very aggressive. He is someone who knows how to file motions. He knows how to argue them. It's expected the former president would want this case moved to federal court based on a law which protects certain federal officials from state prosecution and gives Trump a possibly better chance during trial. CBS News correspondent Scott McFarland. A couple things change. The projected jury pool goes from just Fulton County to all of the Northern District of Georgia, and it takes the cameras out of the courtroom. Fulton County DA Fawny Willis is calling for the trial to be in late October for all 19 defendants. For Trump, I think it is helpful to delay. For other people, that might not be the case. Now, if the case was moved to federal court, Trump would also have a chance that it might be dismissed outright. But legal experts say that could be a long shot. Trump still has to be arraigned since that is a separate process in Georgia. Christine. All right, Dick, thank you. And